Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. In our last episode, um, we finally managed to crush the uh, pocket that we had formed here in uh, the form of uh, Estonia. And we've reduced everything down to a single province with their entire stack of troops sitting right there. So, we're going to try and finish destroying that. We also finished removing the Allied forces here in Norway and down in uh, Greece. We kind of ran into a bit of a brick wall. We could not get into the city of Athens. They just have too many units stacked up there and... Oh, this looks like it could be a problem. Alright, well I'm going to have to try and get some reinforcements back. Um, Let's swing some of our armor that way. Um, we have a couple of options of what we want to do down here. I can continue to try to push through here. Um, maybe try and push across here if I can reinforce it enough. Maybe bring in some of these marine divisions to try to flank it. Um, that's a possibility. Or I could basically try to abandon this entire invasion completely, swing my guys up here instead, land them... I don't even have a port, I had to land them here and march them across, and then push from this side and hope that my allies back me up, which... Uh, maybe. I, I can't say for sure. Um, the other thing I could do is grab some of these guys from up here, which I'm not sure if that's what I want to do either, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just march everybody to this port province and get ready just in case I do want to swing by and pick them up. Um, i got to think about that. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and unpause things here, get things moving slowly. What I would wanted to do here is I don't want to launch my attack. Yeah, there we go. Yep, they're under attack. Oh, it looks like they stopped. Hmm. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let's see, I'm just gonna I'm gonna wait on that for just a minute. What I wanna do, what I need to do here, is get my bombers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna ground attack them. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to logistic do logistical bombing which is going to attack their supplies. So I want to destroy all of their supplies. Which I can't do this long with close to supply. So, where is the rest of my... Where are the rest of my bombers? Interceptors. Bombers. Another way in the south. Interceptors. More bombers. Logistical bomber. Those air supports. Okay. So if they start bombing again, we can try and see how many supplies they have. Uh, supplies... Yeah, we're hitting it. So what I might want to do is grab those bombers here, swing them up here temporarily. and just bomb out their supplies. You guys, get in there and logistical bomb. Now, what's going on here? Not much. Looks like they're being bombed by the Italians.
Why are they moving that way? I'm just moving all over the place. I don't know. Sometimes I don't understand what the AI does. Okay, what I'm going to do down here, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to bring two more divisions, swing them over there. Actually, engage them there. Come on. Okay, so... Now what I'm gonna do... Is I'm gonna grab... Three... Of these marine divisions... Rebase... My guys here. What does my supply look like there? Uh... Okay. I'm still not getting a lot of supplies through. Uh, let's see. Put those guys in there. Just gonna compress that completely. And Yeah, that should be good enough. Alright, where are their supplies at? Oh, bombing ended before I could see. All right, let's get things rolling here. The supplies are almost gone. The supplies are down to 42. Oh, crud! What happened there? Oh, I wasn't paying attention, didn't realize I was under attack. Alright, we need to move... Those guys in there. We need to get these guys to the front. Oh, no, those guys don't have to the front. Um... Just stretch too thin here. All right. Well, we're gonna move back in. It should be all right. Where's my fleet? There's my fleet. Oh, and what I want to do is I want to get my primary fleet down here. Rebase them there. Bring them in. Push out here. Yep, we threw them back out. All right, where can we go? Let's see. Let's take a couple of armor and one of these infantry. Launch an attack there. Right, 
What do we got? We got more, um, more tanks. Oh, one thing I needed to take take a look at here as well is I finished all those infantry and I said I wanted to push my super heavies to the front. That's what I want to do. Okay, so that's what we want to do. And we're going to get those guys down here. Because pretty much all of our new units are going to get put down here. Because this is the next big... Um, one of the big pushes we need to do. Because once this is done... Oh, combat medicine. Forces are under attack. Where? Right there. Shouldn't be a problem. And now what I can do is I can take these two infantry, launch an attack there, and do a support on that flank. And I can do the same thing here. Launch an attack here, support from that flank. Alright. They're probably out of supplies here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... That is a ton of guys. I'm just going to do an all-out assault from both flanks. I don't care about the stacking penalty or anything like that. Because they shouldn't have any supplies left. This is going to be the Battle of Narva, is what we're looking for. I want to see how many guys they have in there. I don't want production. That's probably going to take a while. Alright, we won. We won across there. What I probably want to do is also do this. Oh, we're completely out of organization. Let's move these guys into position here. production balanced and and all of this is is going well so um how are we looking here in Belgium everything is looking good there all right so while that is grinding away let's go back down here to Greece and let's see what we can do let me rebalance my production here again Slow things down while we think about this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys, load them up on the ships, and do an amphibious invasion there. Oh, and there comes my main fleet. Actually, I'm going to park the main fleet just right there. Actually, you no, know, rebase them in. Okay. And we have begun the amphibious assault. Oh man, come on, will they stop uprising? Strategically redeploy. All right. Won that battle. 
Okay, so, this fleet. Move out there, provide sure bombardment support. And then simultaneously, well, once those marines are landed, Support attack. Support attack. Ooh. HMS Ark Royal, HMS Hermes, HMS Eagle. Three British carriers. Come on, guys. Oh, they're fleeing. Alright, we gotta get our guys on the ground. Alright, they're breaking out of Athens. That's what I was hoping. Oh. They're attacking me again, but I am launching an all-out assault. No. Nope. Why can't they move that way? There should be a straight crossing, right? Patra. And, yeah, there is a straight crossing there. All right, we're going to engage the battle. Attack commenced. Support attack. No, don't move. Oh, what? How are we out of supplies? Come on, man. Alright, so they're attacking me, and why can't I come across this straight? There we go. Alright, one at a time, then. Throw everybody into that. Get my CAGs. Ground attack. Now these guys are all out of supplies. Uh, let me see. Is there anything I can do about that? Is there anything at all that I can do about that? Uh, with my... I wonder if they have the range to do an air supply mission. Uh, we gotta keep our production balanced here. This might be just what I need to shake things up. Province lost. They broke my garrison. Alright. That's enough playing around with these guys. Can you do an air supply mission? No. I don't have any air base close enough to do an air supply mission. Alright. And what are these guys actually out of? They're out of supplies. 
and we have multiple supply routes coming in, so... Okay, well, let's go from a different spot, then. Let's go from... Uh, let's say Bruges. Create a convoy. Supply convoy. From Bruges... to... Uh, what would it be? Kalamata or Patra? I'm not sure I can actually do that. So we already have supplies going into those ports. Yeah. I need to get another port. Oh, what happened here? about through. Well, these are taking up pretty much all of my production. That is insane. And when are they going to get done? January? Okay. Um, oh well, I want them built, so we're going to build them. Hoping that this is going to instigate another offensive by my allies. Oh, we won. Get him back to CAG duty. If these guys only had some supplies. is going on here? Those are actual Belgian infantry. Not just militia. Okay, we need to put that down and put it down hard. They're retreating. out of supplies. Can you do an air supply mission there? Oh, we're still wasting production. Oh, we actually now have enough going. Okay. We're still wasting production. I see one thing I wanted to do. Let me just take a look at my technology here real quick. Is I want to push my medium tank and light tank tech to the front. I'm not going to do heavy tank. 
least not yet anyway. Alright. Yeah, we can't actually assault these with garrison units. <sighs> Alright, we're moving across there. Oh, these guys now have supplies. Not really. Not enough to sustain an offensive. Or is it? No, because we're going to get a... They have a motorized infantry division. Actually, what I want to do is I need to get in there with these guys. Close air support. Ground attack. Ground attack. Oh, this is trouble. Okay, so what we're going to do here. We can launch an attack there, support. We can launch an attack there, and support. And support. Push those guys out. We finally wipe those guys out. Oh, these guild, still guys, uh, these guys are still out of supplies. I need another port. I need Athens. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and take Athens from a different direction. These guys should have supplies. is going to have to just swing over here. <sighs> Dealing with these uprisings is annoying. How goes this battle? If I take those guys out of the fight, what happens? Oh, it drastically improves things because it reduces the stacking penalty. I think this is working. I think this is working. Let's just get things moving a little quicker here. Ah, uh, what's this? Oh, we're gonna have to 
to actually bring an actual military force. into Belgium because all of a sudden we have we're getting our butts kicked. Ah, uh, let's see. If we strategically redeployed them, they will take forever to get there. What about this? What about this? What about this? My transport ships. They are banged up, but they're what I need. Get them up there. Because now they're just breaking out. Ah, oh, crap. This is not what I needed right now. They lost the dragon. Alright, alright. Um, let's grab a division. Let's grab a core. An infantry core. You guys. Can't use those. Oh, let me let me just think about this here for a second. Because my fleet, this fleet's gonna take a while to get there. Uh, let's see. This I was not anticipating. draw anybody off the line here. I mean, I probably can. I could probably grab, like, this core. That's gonna seriously weaken me someplace I don't necessarily want to be weakened. I think it's the only real option right now. Alright. And strategically redeploy them off the line. It's going to take two cores from here, one core from here, one core from here, one core from here. But we should still be okay. Alright. Alright, let's see what happens with that. So I need to throw the Belgians back. They almost completely retaken their country. Our infantry divisions are moving into position, but these guys are just going to keep rolling. Alright, how's this going? Still at 98%. But almost there. They're gonna run into my fighter screen. Didn't I tell all of you? Yes, all of you. I 
HMS Neptune, yeah. Okay. Oh, they're under attack. What kind of supplies these guys got? Barely anything. But these guys apparently have decent supplies. If we can just stop getting attacked here for a second. Continue to move ships through there. Which, the more that we can sink, the better. Yep, we sunk the HMS Argus. Alright. attack here and support it. Launch an attack uh, here and support it. See if we can continue to just push this out a little bit. We're not really doing any kind of concerted efforts here. I'm just going to make these guys a core. Attach them to an army. And, oh, nope, you stay there. Move these guys into the front. They do actually need to start making a push here. Uh oh, we lost the Deutschland. Alright, I actually need to. My guys are all banged up. Alright, we need to get them into a port. Oh my god. Yeah, they are tore up. Alright, we need to get them out of there. Alright, we are free now. Nope. Still not. Can we support this from here? As well as here? New Zealand Expeditionary Force. are way back there. Actually, has our fleet arrived? No, it has not. It's right there. Alright, so you... three guys. Launch an attack here. Whoever can join it, join it. Fleet make it back to Sevastopol? Yeah. We finally won the Battle of Athens. Holy crap. Alright, we need to grab one of those units and keep it here.
Oh. You need to move in. This is not going to go anywhere. guys move that way. Let's have these three units move this way to do a support attack. Now, will that actually improve things? No, that will not improve things. Where are they getting all these units? I've never seen this happen before. Alright. You guys, load up on the ships and get down here. I believe they're still putting up that much of a fight. Okay, so now we have Athens. So we can. Let me just pause it here for a second. We can create a convoy. Actually, where do we want to create the convoy from? Uh, let's see. Do we want to do Brest? No, Brest is kind of expended. We lost all of our ports here. Hamburg? Hamburg is still... Still doing good. I think Hamburg is the only real port I can use right now, so... Go ahead, we're going to create a supply convoy from Hamburg to Ath Athens. And we're going to load up every single ship we can. That should get some supplies moving. Okay, we are now good and broken out. So. We got all these river crossings. Come on, we need these units before they take the port of Amsterdam. Another uprising. Things are starting to look good in Greece. 
but this Belgian issue is still a massive problem. I cannot believe the number of units they currently have. And they are getting more and more and more of them. And these guys are out of supplies. You're, you're kidding me, right? What is with the supply problems? Alright, then we're gonna do a continuous air supply. Because these units need to get out. And look at look at all of this. Somehow Belgium got its entire army back! Holy crap! The entire freaking Belgian army has just risen from the grave and is now launching a massive assault on my forces. Alright, alright. Um. Okay, that, 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 right there, is frustrating me to no end. So, at this point, I think we're going to go ahead and have to end the episode. Um, we're going to try and deal with this mess um, shortly. I And we finally, finally wiped that out, it looks like. I must have missed it in all of the spam. I didn't get to see exactly how... I'm, many troops we took out, but that may actually be what we need. We're going to have to bring... I was really hoping I was just going to be able to take a lot of these guys, put them along this line to hold the front, bring all these tanks, swing them down here and do a push to Moscow, but now it looks like I'm going to have to take probably a large portion of this army, swing them back into Belgium to wipe these guys back out again before I can bring them back to here to push to Moscow, so I'm gonna have to then focus on doing a... Oh, that's crap. That is a load of crap right there. Alright. Hold on. Launch a counterattack. Actually, and swing. A couple of forces here. Let's move some tanks in there. Let's take these other two units and launch an attack there and do a support attack. Okay, so. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and end the episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time.